you know, setting up just outside of a breach or making it to where a plant spot that's a little risque can potentially be something that you can actually stick and hopefully find your team around. Oh, plus one advantage. We saw in matches yesterday how much of a difference that can make, but Gorgona turns it around through the floor. Then kill over to Heroic, and this is exactly what I was talking about with Gorgona. His ability to waste time is fantastic. We're going to jump into the fray, too, as he knocks out Eclipse. Well, it's going to be a downed Jaeger and possibly a dead Pamba, but no. the field over inside of Fountain, trying to trying to take any gunfight he potentially can inside of Archive. Pambazoo will eventually go yeah. down. He's going to have to make a run out through the jail wall to get anything done here, too. Canadian has already shut down the other player, trying to rotate back in. Gorgona will waltz right up and get a relatively Sight, easy. But Gorgona has wasted so much time, and now Benja has a kill. Pambazoo will be able to trade it out. NJR with a big pickup from the nade. Go down. That's going to spur Grizzly into action. Gets a player off the defuse and with that that's gonna prompt us in the back. wings we'll see how it lands and it's actually gonna be from behind hyper with his initial frag will save the life of his teammate but njr will also go down the frag and now sloth with the potential to actually shut this round down <laughs> as he fries njr he can't find the elbow of the other player but hyper character when it comes to siege one of my favorites and i'm sure a lot Oof. of favorites of people at home but unfortunately enough, i know exactly where uno is and they've already shut it down question mark i thought they had it there for a split second but apparently, oh, yeah. thankfully, Clips and NJR are well in post plant position at this point. So there you go. Just a matter of waiting for us to build fine. Up NJR start breaking up the wall as Pambazoo will actually go down to Uno. But a nice move here. From Back and forth. He's getting some good damage off, but they're eventually going to have to reload. Sloth is going to take some damage from down back up. So this is indeed a one versus one. Eclipse will take him down via the wall in the other room here and be able to pick up Sloth as well. Somebody has to get on case. He has to hold it to this late. point on. One dead, two down, and that's. That's it. Heroic able to pick up the round off of such an aggressive play that Grizzly. Canadian really a bit alone here in this position. The rotates in from Eclipse, and he's pretty much immediately going to find impact by him to save his own teammate's life. Get a little bit of pressure off of him. Canadian nice. as well, beautifully timed on the round. Peak. Gaff there from Eclipse. He oh, manages no. to run into the air jab and unfortunately doesn't have a good nomad, leaving Canadian alone in the site. Somewhat surrounded on angles, too. He won't make it very far in Uno. A lot, a lot of damage, though, coming in from downstairs. As inevitably, he'll be taken nice. down by Benja. Sloth will pick up the last kill, and Heroic are on the warpath to overtime. Solid round from Heroic. They're catching on to the slower and start working themselves in. Canadian ready to throw out some aggression on his own regard oh, here, but oh, no, man. it's just not going to work for anyone except NJR. He picks up a kill, but even he's pretty much immediately exchanged, and it's just so close. Clean from Heroic DZ. Try to bait into a few of these fights, but every single one except the small one. Uno's gonna move in on Passport. They've got the cross, but Uno's been downed outside and he's dead. Hyper's gonna be. And now the cross here from Heroic. They have to try and battle back, but Canadian shuts down Gorgana. It's a four versus two. Heroic have got to pick this up, but they simply cannot unless Grizzly has Heroic try and get out of this round. Another shot and he'll take down Canadian, but where's Pambazoo? It's a trip. Audio cues. That's all he's listening for. He knows the players around the area. It's a shot from Pambazoo. Dark Zero shut it down in regulation after such a hard-fought round from Grizzly. That is such a heartbreaker. It's two being great adjustments from them, change-ups just to get over the hill and into a winning position for that round. But unfortunately, leave us with for our last ban here. It's going to be the Valkyrie. Very straightforward affair here, minus the Finca, but we've started to see her get banned more and more often. The wings and JR, speaking of the wings, will work his way down through the actual lobby area, remove him from play himself. Hertz is going to run out of bullets, and instead of Eclipse's initial help here, he'll actually get tagged down. JR. NJR even scoped into that too, and another one gonna show up from Keys as he's able to knock Can't out Fight Kinnate. back against it. W7M constantly fighting this. these ones, and they haven't cleared the map. Oh, Eclipse, Eclipse is running. Oh, and actually, Keys trading up positive inside of that situation. A fantastic shot from Eclipse. He's now understanding exactly what aggression W7M are going to throw at them, and so is the rest. More of than likely here in a couple of seconds as they got that hopping outside. Nice shot from him. No one's got a drop, but it's gonna be Canadian with a pick apart this defensive setup like we've seen time and time again from them, especially Ooh. today. But what a shot there from Hurts. Can he follow Shown off by tenfold here as he gets away. NJR will be traded, but oh, actually, it's NJR to take down two. immediately dusted as well. They try to fend off Dark Zero, but the patience works out handedly for them, and they'll be able to tie things up here. So the initial success here. on the southeast side of the map. JV92 tries to make the move, almost has. It goes for the swing again, gets one, knows one's inside of oil pit. He'll clean this one. Very aware. Yellow pink coming out, just like we said, with Dark Zero and these drones. W7M, you cannot get away from he has one around dirt, very minimal time. Nade out the swing, and Canadian will pick it up off the tool. It is. Keys, very pivotal position, able to get one. 
Possibly the second, but no, the pistol can't get it done. Hybro ults. He's going to play patiently and allow his player to try and move forward. NJR, he gets so much well, damage. He doesn't worry about players swinging him, but he's going to be allowed to go for this plat. Oh, but he's immediately slapped back down to earth as soon as he goes in for it. And, <laughs> and equalize some damage down. Sierra's Volps is going to actually get oh. some damage dealt to him. And NJR, go off, my friend. But oh, he won't be able to get to knows that he's probably in this area. A fast move here from him. But NJR, they were talking about. Attack, they don't necessarily need one. And look at this, the frag's just brilling in. In fact, Volps right kills NGR, but he might not be able to make this reinsertion. insertion. He tries to go for the headshot against Herds, but instead it's him that gets the kill. Hyper now left alone, and he's forced out into the <laughs> open. And well, the mirror actually going down, rather not on the mirror. And yet another play here from W7. Wow. And DZ now have to try and battle back towards the site, but these mirror windows are actually going to play. Really get again. himself back down here. Would not be surprised if he kind of backs away from this one and just lets the talk go in, but no, one more hop. Herds has oh. only practically have to. If they give over any other bodies is going to be a huge problem. Bambazoo will go higher time because if they don't, then they're more than likely going to die. And this is going to allow Volps to get a lot. Constantly come through. Where is the help for Canadian? Well, doesn't really need it, does he? Eclipse now in the rear, and that's going to be an easy kill for Nadian. Nitro Cell out. And do believe all that. manner of utility scattered around the map's table, and that's where Flores really comes into his own. So with that taken away, I thought, hey, this would be a win. And as soon as that chance comes in, he's out of there. Looks towards the right-hand side, but didn't look towards the left. The reverse action. Beautiful throw from Diaz, taking Palu down in 90. There goes resets. This could be a disaster for Team Bathroom. He's going to hit Astro Window as well, doing a little bit of damage. But there's the flank. Yoga managing to sneak up and get PSK completely. He's got the LMG, so he's got everything he needs. But no, he's got no life, Des. He needs some of that. Kino. Game so far, it's all up to Palu to clutch this out. And he cannot, as Kino. Which is Aviator Games this time around. Spirits, he's going to try to drop himself away, but he Yes. Nesky's going to push in. Does he find his first? No. Shut down from Diaz. behind the bar. Diaz is going to serve him up right, a tree. Across the site. Resets. He's just standing around on that study door. Manages to rotate and get one table. He's going to take the peak. He's going to take oh. the kill. <laughs> it's just as easy as that. But not quite enough. Enough to tickle him there, but in comes Palo. If it's not Nesk, it's the other. In comes Spirits. Does finally get his way point. right now. Four versus two. PSK on very low health. Doesn't matter when Palo's yeah, idea of where Diaz is there. And those stun canisters are going to tell them. The yeah, but they're just a bit tentative at the minute, Des. They know that he's Ooh. there. Kino with a beautiful the shot. That. Exactly, mate. Yeah. So maybe. I mean, if resets keeps on hitting shots. Into sight, get that control, but if the push comes here, no, how does Diaz win that? He's the man, he can't find the kill. Yoga manages to get Ask. It's all up to Palo. He's shut down as he comes All out. 10 players left on the board. Ask has got a lot of value out of his hit points, to be fair. I know he gets taken down there as the opening kill, but he's oh. just held them off. He's got 15 seconds to make this no happen, way. but they might just do it. There's Diaz, he gets one. PSK, he needs two more here. Diaz, he's going in, looking, he <gasps> finds one. Can he get the second? Surely not, Des. He's got the defuse to be able to stop him. He's going in for the challenge. Does he find oh, his man? No, yes! Balu! Balu hits him with the shot! exactly where Nesk is going to be playing, but he can't do anything about it! Unless some absolute miracle befalls Diaz here. He's got to find five kills in 30 seconds. It's not going to happen. Side of the study side. Let's move up top instead. Ask is still sat on the stairs, mind you, though, as we find only three men left standing for exit. Diaz back stairs here after resets finds Kino, the man who's picked up all these kills for them. Gomez, finally. Four versus three to Liquid. Resets pushing forward here. Can't find the man in the bathroom. Yoga, he's going to take him down. But work as a pair, although maybe separated now. Oh, Palu finds the kill with the SMG. And closes down Gomez. And there is one more band to Liquid. Could be the mirror, most likely to be. It is indeed to make that downstairs a little bit easier to attack into. I mean, coming in, as you did mention, the potential. On the other side of this pit doorway, so Cadarada slightly impeded here. Going to blow it out, but then steps out at exactly the wrong Do point. anything. Palu manages to get the kill onto Suzuki. Are you managing to find one onto PSK? But there come the final well, two. It's March past security, and he's now pushing his way inside a site. The Oryx, we have not seen that interaction Versus before. Two Gatarada being tentative. Palu going to take a lot of damage. Going to take too much damage as it's Gatarada because it is just going to keep building and building. Resets looks away at the wrong time. And Suzuki through concrete instead. A bash coming through, not quite finding the man. No way can he find both through as well on the deck. Though. Can start looking to push forward now. 45 Ooh. seconds, and there comes another Suzuki. Just 
pushes his way on into side. Ready to hold down F, but they're so wary of what's going on in Freezer. Now there's one more left alive coming around the corner looking for the fight. Can't quite connect. Both players missing time. Spinning up shop there. Two kills come in. Gatorada looking for what he can. They find two. Suzu Shi one into a second, but down he goes. It's going to be a one versus two. Sorry, it is for Ayagator. A triple kill for the big window, which could be the next point of contention they're looking for. But here comes Ask on the downstairs again. Everything going off. We've got the laser again. We've got the razor bloom. We've got the kill from resets. Ask PSK quite frequently in the Brazilian oh, playbook. But look at that. Resets just blast. Seconds left to go. And they need to get something moving. But they are looking Ooh. good. However, Ayagator with a kill onto resets. 3v4. Trying to do what they can, but it's already falling apart here for the side of Cyclops. Liquid, just a bit too much pressure from too many directions. C4 over the top. In the corner by himself. They're looking for the feet, Tim. They will finally be able to take him down. Now it's a three versus. Paulo recovers the diffuser, so they've got the option of getting that down on the ground. The challenge continues to come in, but damage done to teammates there. Ayagator down on the ground it's itself inside and get that diffuser down, but no, he's going to run out of time. And Cyclops are able, to, able to do anything about it. That's somewhat of a surprise. Oh, Paulo from beyond the green then finds the opener onto Black Ray. Oh, they've managed to find two big kills here. And that's going to need to be collected by Liquid if they're going to go in and have an opportunity. Ah. But Nesk using Edge of Gator, trying to move back. But that laser gate Ooh. is actually working against him. Nesk. Way through Attic that way. With it being open, they absolutely can. And uh, I mean, all the way down to Kitchen here. There could be an opportunity for him to get the diffuser down. Paul, who goes in and gets an essential kill? He's going to be on the cover taken down from above. Black Ray needs to go now, though he can't oh, stop shot. the plant going down. 2v2, 2v1. As Ask comes off that diffuser after the successful plant and finds the kill. 1v1. So a good lot of track stingers there just to give that audio cue if the push comes. An operator for this team uh, allows you to pressure a lot of things that you wouldn't necessarily be able to in the same way with any other op. So they're going to take that off the field. Nice Malusi also will have to use another one here if there's any left to get it done. But oh my goodness, bouncing with the double. Nearly Still lined up. to it anyway. That third toxic babe oh. should be coming in in just a second. And actually, no, finally out of him. He can commit himself to this plan. I miscounted as we see Ethan going. Oh, he got count, it! No. Time, even though Bride still holding things down. And there's the plant. That's what we'll be Overwatch call. Doesn't actually end up hitting the Wrong mark in there. Wait, my body, the thing is not confirmed just yet, but yeah, that should be an easy job, thankfully, due to Bouncing's position of Launched his way, knows someone's at the teller's door, challenges back in, but he's dusted by Boyd. He just can't land the shot. Giving BD has a lot of time to analyze the situation themselves, but at the moment, bouncing again, finding these excellent entries, two in a row to work towards here. As left run Shiro, we see one of them forcing the issue past it, but he reveals too much of the doorway. Shiko counters it, less than 10 seconds to reattempt it now, but a few of them have to fall back. Worthy with an impressive pickup. Now they need to lock it down, though, as they are at zero timer, and they can't be stopped here. Oh! He has to hold the line, but Bride just waltzes right in and shuts cool. it off. Boydy working in, quickly knocks out this yokai drone before it can stun them, but Renshiro with a slam and headshot against Boyd. He stops him from going any further. Eleven's able to get to work one. his way in and stop this planet attempt from going down. Will he be able to do it? Well, he'll get the player defending it, but now he's given his last opponent a chance to collect this out. The case is down, the rep is out. The damage there. Uh, Bouncing will be able to at least get one, but I don't know if they're aware of the elevator back play. towards Janitor. Bread will pick up another one. Bride actually with two. Bride All from bounce, and he's going to be able to down the player inside a garage. Shots start getting fired back and forth, but it's Ethan to take him out to the soft wall for the, the to clean up Boydy, though, and he'll try and cancel this out. Renshiro will find yet another one under Possibly digital. Possibly still in play unless they've been found by BDS, but that doesn't matter when Renshiro. run out here from Worthy. That has been caught here. He's trying to make wow. the best of the situation, but it just doesn't Shiro pay with another shutdown outside. Digital just outright peaks as well, despite being on the light. Uh -oh. He's popped it. There we go. But they wouldn't account for Ethan holding oh. the line. But he guarantees a one shouldn't be much in the way of capability to interrupt this because the open site pressure is minimal here. BDS shutting oh. down the Chiefs. Global digital attempt this. Only 10 seconds left just to get on the case. And there you go. BDS run through a second through consecutive round. And here. get them onto the wall. It can be hard to get that kind of connection straight through the, uh, the single doorway that you have. But do I think it's substantial enough that you ban her banner? It's a little oh, bit no. difficult to tell there, but that's something Astralis are going to have to be aware of because he could go up Astro stairs. Worthy to They are in full control so far of this round of four versus two until Digital goes a little to the north bit. side. That means now Chiefs have got this sort of pincer on the go. J90 finding one. Peace shooter, as we refer to it, against three players. One coming in through the window. May well find the shots here. Yes, he Punches shall. Accounts and fads a kill here in round two. Diffuser is down cold on the ground, but it's Charles not going to need to do is push from both sides at the same time. That's exactly. 
how they're working. Three zero on his side, same for J90, but the whole team is just marching their way through. But Ethan, the Whoa, we just can't open it up enough. I was going to say, that's very optimistic that you'll get anything done. With now that. trying to push his way through here to find even one kill for his team to get things moving. He's painting him like an artist, Tim, but not actually hitting the canvas. Another kill goes it's across. Away because he knows that the push is likely to come where he tries to move up those main stairs. And what a long shot he hits with Ooh. that shotgun taken down in an immediate trade from Iconic inside a oh. 90 though. <laughs> Around sight. And if I was a betting man, I'd say that really you probably count on Forrest and Shuttle to get two members of Astralis looking to get another round on the board, but no idea what's going on. Iconic's round is going to end at a triple. Ethan in the really back. Anybody there to deny well, it at the minute? They can hold the angles, and there's the shutdown that they needed. The Boy Chiefs are going to be able to do to stop it this time. No, there is not. There comes the kill in from DP Fire. Where they get Iconic traded his eye point. It was him and Ethan going for the trade, but ultimately it's played likely over towards Red Stairs at this point. But no, it is a bit of a void down there. Too. Him. I couldn't tell you a single man in behind the shield is going to make the challenge, but Iconic comes away with the kill, oh, doesn't matter from the hatch potentially. And he's going to lose his life if he tries to take a peek. It's going to be now 1v3 moves in through the laser gates, can't find the second as the head is there. And that is well. a big play from Shuttle, just moving around the door, taking huh? the opportunity. Iconic out of the window, and that is going to shut the clock, though. Always ends up playing for the defenders, as Forrest has proved. User is in the hands of Worthy, there is an opportunity for him, but not if they don't deal with Iconic on the flank. There, well, just sat boo. quietly out in Memorial, manages to get it. Having any impact on the players from the other side. Word is on the below as well. Death from down. Nice to take the shot around the corner of the vault door. Doesn't manage to make it. And here comes the push. Iconic, DP Fire, Forest. They all stand up. Through, bouncing, leading the charge. Forest holding off towards the side. As solid as a tree may be. Time will tell. The upside down repel from Boydie. Finding him and giving Chiefs yeah. a Bouncing, bringing down DP Fire. Three versus two. Shuttle at least starting to equal equalize the scoring here last 10 seconds a two versus two iconic hiding in the corner like a rat finds the kill boydie gets one but i don't think there's another timer here iconic can just sit and wait there's going to be no time left we'll win by a couple of milliseconds they get themselves up to match point now at six and four i was just panicking for iconic a little